guys, Emily here and welcome to another video. I don't know where this intro is going, what the heck. Uh... Welcome back to my channel guys. If you are new here, please... So, le, 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 le. Uh... <laughs> How do we make videos, Emily? It's not like you've been doing it for a year. Yeah, so basically I've been making videos for a whole year now. And a year has passed and here we are and I thought as a sort of homage to that I went I'd go back to my original setup which is in fact being me like squished really close to my dresser <laughs> as far forward and as far left as possible with some flowers and a nice little ornament I chose my Buddha because he's super cute and some like the typical candles in the background just to sort of pay homage to that so I'm kind of liking this setup my original one so I might actually keep it who knows so for this week's video I'm going to be showing you guys my June favorites I love doing favorites videos they always get me so excited about what's happened this month and the products I've been using and it is going to be a collab with Paige I will link her channel in a tab up in the corner and down in the description box below so please make sure to go and check her out she's going to be doing a June favorites beef as well and it's her first monthly favorite so make sure to go and give it loads and loads of love so that she absolutely loves doing them as much as I do so it has been like we had that insane heat wave and that was immense I properly had myself prepared for that because I had been on holiday who did not know I'd been to Bali so I will link my vlogs up in a little tab up there as well and I took my Pisbrin tan and protect um, tan accelerating oil spray this is in SPF 30 so it's really good for protecting you from the Sun and UVA and UVB rays I know people want a tan but you've got to learn to put, like get a tan and protect yourself and I found this is one of the most amazing things ever because it accelerates your tan so the actual like changing color of your skin as well as protecting it from any harmful rays so this has been absolutely amazing the other thing that I had for sort of the coming out of the holiday phase obviously I went on holiday I got an insane tan came back and it was nice and sunny so I could top up on that tan but in the past couple of days and in the days between the sort of heat waves we had it has not been as nice and I've been really paranoid that I'm gonna lose my tan so I have been I think I think it's only been like two or three times I've actually done it but I have been topping up on my tan with my Bondi sands and I haven't put it this in a video yet and I don't know why so I thought I'd put it in this month's video even though this month's favorites even though I've been using it like since I got it which was like I don't know back in January this is the Bondi Sands um, everyday liquid gold gradual tanning dry oil um, it says dual action formula coconut scent Australian made and this is so good it tans you a gorgeous like it's really warm and it's not orange I have to stress that I hate going orange but I literally love it it's so perfect and it smells really good just like coconuts and like sunshine moving on from tanny products I guess I want to go on to skincare because when I went on holiday the only thing I really bought in the duty-free was this Clinique moisture surge uh, extended thirst relief gel cream thing you put on your face before you go to bed when you wake up in the morning and it makes your skin amazing it is a gel consistency which I love for the summer because my skin gets really oily in the summer as you can tell now it is already like it's shiny for my oily fluctuating skin that is often in need of a sort of moisture sort of boost this is the most amazing thing and how gorgeous is this packaging like really it's amazing so I'll pop this on at night, just like a dollop on my face, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I just rub it all in, and then I wake up in the morning and my skin literally looks like like a gorgeous petal, and it's like so smooth and plump and moisturized, and it's literally the most amazing thing ever. Also in the sort of like skincare-ish um, area, I have been waiting for this baby to come out for months if you are a serious lushy like I am you will know that back in March when they did their Mother's Day range they had the beautiful bee that is scrubby he is it was like the love of my life for weeks and weeks and weeks in March 
he was amazing with my KP on my arms. He like really calmed down all of my spots and got away any dried skin, cleared up some of the acne on my chest and my back. Like it was, it was amazing. And then they got rid of him as the Mother's Day range went. Mm hmm. Yeah. My heartbreak. Yeah. You can imagine. It was actually terrifying. And then the other week. I saw on Instagram that they had brought Scrubby back and I was so over the moon. I went that day and bought myself a Scrubby. He has this gorgeous cocoa butter like bumblebee. You can see he's got his eyes and his stripes and he's so super duper cute. I absolutely love him. So he's got this lovely cocoa butter um, white stripes and his face and his eyes to make your skin really nice and soft and smooth. And then here his black stripes are kind of like this a bit more rough abrasive um, like scrub so that's gonna be your like exfoliator scrubby is my life look how cute he is by my peonies basically i have always just used normal hair bands and i've never believed in any of these other hair bands that people are using like the funky ones or anything like that or like scrunchies or weird clips that keep your hair up like i've just been a plain hair band girl i don't really tie my hair up much like you've never really i don't think i've ever filmed a video with my hair up i don't think um, other than like a makeup video when I let it down at the end. But I made like a revelation the other week in Primark. I went in to get some hairbands. I did get some normal hairbands. But I saw these like springy hairbands. Never tried them before. So I picked up a packet of like eight or nine in there. And just popped them in my basket. Took them home. And I put my hair up into a ponytail when I got home. Oh my god. These are the nicest things I've ever put to my hair in my entire life. They don't snag, they don't pull, they like, I don't have like, I don't like my hair being like slicked back. I like it to have like a bit of like messy texture. Perfect for that. It makes my hair feel lovely. It doesn't like pull on my hair when I take it out. It like holds a bun like, um, like pretty damn, like that is the best thing I've ever bunned my hair with before. But these things, have like they've changed my life now moving on to makeup and i have quite a few things to talk about the first thing is super duper dirty and i'm really ashamed of how dirty it actually is considering its worth it is the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette i actually got this second hand oops you know shoot me i'm not rich i got it off of depop i am literally oh hello <laughs> i am literally so obsessed with this palette it is unreal the shades in this are amazing they're like my favoriteest colors ever most of the shades in this palette i am head over heels for it is beautiful it's so summery because you can work, work with like the warm colors as well as the more like pinky springy ones which is so so good and it's just so versatile like wearing it out on a night out or just like a really neutral shade for the day also it comes with the most amazing brush like i did not expect the brush to be that good maybe it's because i'm using really bad brushes at the moment who knows but i'm still in love with it i am absolutely in love with the mua velvet lip lacquers at the moment i bought one this time last year to wear to prom and i brought the bought the red color like the plain red um i'm not sure what that was called but it was just the red like the plain red color and that lasted me like all night and I was so like impressed with that for three quid from Superdrug. So I went back in the other week and I bought some more colours and one of them that I was absolutely in love with is the slightly deeper red that they brought out more recently. Um, and that is in the shade Firecracker. Oh my god it's absolutely amazing like it is so much better. Like people swear by the NYX matte lip cream whatever they're called people swear by them i don't rate them like up to this they are nowhere near as good right the angles changed but that's because i kicked my tripod sorry about that so i went out on the hunt for a new eyeliner because i have using been using the same type of eyeliner since i started doing my eyeliner and that is the collection fast stroke eyeliner swear by it love it however i tried the other month the other month the other week to branch out into a different type of eyeliner and I took the leap and I bought my Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner. And this one is the like super, super, super duper fine. Can't even see that. The super fine nib one. So yeah, it is super duper fine. It's absolutely amazing. And it stays on 
all day long which is a problem I have with eyeliners is that I kind of like rub my eyes here and it rubs off this stays on all day without fail no matter how much I poke and prod my eyes which is a, like a godsend so the final makeup thing that I have been loving this month is my Revolutions Ultra Bronze Bronzer. The decal has come off the front because I use it so much and I've hit pan all within the space of like two months. I did have this last month, however, um, I've just been loving it this month so much more. Honestly, I prefer it to my Hoola. I'm pretty sure this cost me like £6. I will put the link for it down below as I will everything if it's still available and i like it more than my um my hula bronzer it's bigger you get more product and it is just such a lovely color and it sits so well on my skin tone and it's just so much it's so good for the summer because my face i don't like tanning my face i hate it when i tan my face it goes all uneven and nasty and orange and it looks like a really bad fake tan so i just don't i just like you know stock up on sun cream on my face wear makeup don't like tanning my face at all this helps my face match the rest of my body and it's such a nice shade for it it gives me like a really nice natural sort of warm summery glow other than that we've got our really really random section which i always kind of include in my monthly favorites or you know just i always have like a section for just really weird stuff generally because i'm a weird person so the first thing I wanted to include in my weird stuff section is I have been loving avocados. They taste great. I always have them on, like, I always make myself, like, an egg and avocado sandwich in the morning or, like, have it on toast. They are amazing. So many health benefits. My skin has benefited so much from it, as has my hair and my nails. And I'm just in love with them. They're, like, so hipster and so in right now, and I'm all about that. Also, I've been loving having early nights. And by early nights, I mean, like going to bed and going to sleep at like half past nine it's either that or I go out I drink I get smashed and I wake up at like I go to sleep at like two in the morning but don't remember going to sleep and then wake up at like midday the next day hating myself but loving myself at the same time trying to work out what the hell I did the night before that has literally been my life for the past couple weeks early nights and late nights loving it the music I have been loving this month is Tudor Cinema Club. I absolutely am in love with them. I was told about them like earlier this month. This was in my Q&A as well. Um, I said how much I love them and I'm even more obsessed with them now. And I might be going to Reading to see them on the Friday. So fingers crossed. TV I have been loving this month. Broadchurch. Oh, I love Broadchurch. I have binge watched season, season one last month this month me and my mum binge watched season two and we're starting season three soon so fingers crossed that season three will be just as good as season two because it is amazing oh my gosh i'm not gonna say anything about it um in case people are like making their way through it however david tennant oh my love my heart like mm, he's top notch so basically that is it for my monthly favourites. I'm really sorry if it's been a bit rambly. I've kind of not quite been able to get my words out today. But hopefully I'll be able to edit this down so you'll actually be able to watch it within like a 15 minute time, like a 10 minute time frame. Also if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and pop a few comments below if you have any questions to ask or just you know want to pop a comment. Make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss any of my random ramblings or adventures in the future because there might be something really special coming up. Hint hint keep your notifications on because you don't want to miss it. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to go and check out Paige's video on her channel, which I will link somewhere. Somewhere. I'll see you next week in another lovely video. Adios.